Okay, whatever. I mean, I like Diddy Kong better than Fox, but I'm using Fox because he goes faster or something. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I missed a orange box and this might have been one of the levels of extra character in it after you beat it sometimes, but whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna get the orange box. Now what I play now without it. Why are you cutting out so much capture times? Okay. I had to yell at it. You have to let the capture times know who's boss, and I think I preemptively said I missed that thing. I hate on the smart bombs are duds, and also smart bombs are like my favorite new item and worthy of being the only Star Fox item in the entire series. Okay, so oh wait, it was a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it was only eight and leads. Okay, so at least I somehow broke it already. It was only just a boring thing instead of a orange box or whatever. I need another deal book. I like how the group doesn't want you, that's pretty excellent. Oh, Aw, it should power up the hothead even if it's being held by you. And I wish you could hold items through doors. Very upsetting that you can't. Oh, bullet bills, you're totally not very good. Oops, I forgot to be sarcastic. I mean, they're okay, it's just... Out of all the things that could have been in this, like the Octoroks and Light Blakes that were actually in Melee, I'm a bit upset they forgot to put anything with Mario enemies in. Even if Bowser. Why, why aren't there Ganondorf enemies, even though all Ganondorf would sit around and be a lazy, worthless sack of crap and then tire some of these in this area and then be playable for a few minutes in the boring part of the game? Oops, spoilers. I don't care, this, is, uh, this isn't interesting enough to warrant spoilers, and also um, has been out long enough to not warrant spoilers, and doesn't have a story enough to warrant spoilers, even if you don't personally have that. Oh well. Super Smash Bros. 4, all the characters should just be unlocked by at the beginning, and you unlock alternate costumes for them or something cool like that. Actually, that would be great, why don't they do that in the next Smash Bros. I should be in charge of Nintendo's. Whoops, that was not the best of times. Oh, I'm better with the new anyway, I guess. Even though I'm not really good with Diddy at all. Actually, yes, actually. That's how talking works, right? Funny story, folks. Uh, when Brawl first came out, there was like a release tournament thingy at GameStop. And I was not familiar with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck controls, but I had been like reading up and watching every video on the website a bunch because I'm a dumb nerd like that. And I thought like, okay, I might not be a winner of the tournament, but I at least should know the move sets and have an advantage over dumb people who don't know anything, right? And a little girl holding a Wii Remote thingy backwards beats me as Diddy with Pikachu because I had no idea how to use Diddy because I was very angry he was in instead of a character I liked more. Like most of them from Donkey Kong series even. I don't even like very many characters from the Donkey Kong series, just the ones that specifically weren't in like King Arrow and King um, Chunky and King Lanky. Their absence was particularly painful for me and I was just angry I was playing as Diddy and then I like we were playing on Mushroomy times 1-2 one, or 1-1 one, one, I mean. And I happened to fall in some random hole and die at the last second after being really good or okay for the first match considering I didn't know how to play as Diddy and then people thought I was a bad at video game, which I needless to say I committed suicide shortly thereafter. Uh, actually, jerks at GameStop made everyone sit outside for another hour until midnight because, uh, uh, I don't know, fire hazards and crap like that. Who cares about fires? Only fire is the one I would be setting if I didn't get my quality Nintendo games as soon as they come out or a little bit before. But, what? How can I get back now? If I don't know how I got here, then how do I know how to leave? If I don't know how do I got here, this is totally a good game. Compared to Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know, I like Shadow the Hedgehog too much, it was a little too terrible for me to actually want to ever play it again. 
but if if you just kind of gloss over the horrible parts of most of it, it was an okay game in my book. I was not offended by the guns and clocks and Jorah's masks and, uh, and Donkey Kong's punching him was all for naught because he got eaten and now Star Fox gets eaten and... So they can absorb the trophy's essence, so like the ones in levels out of damage and become random crap like those two heroes. And Falco gets a cool entrance, that's so cool they forgot to give Wolf an entrance. Yeah, I mean Falco's pretty okay, I like him how obnoxious he is and stuff, and I probably like him better than Fox. But it's just Star Fox characters were way overrepresented considering that Fire Emblem had like three game Fire Emblem. Star Fox had like three games and none of them were very good. I mean, the only good ones were Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Assault, I think. And actually, this is back when I was fighting Shadow Bowser, this is what I was thinking of that gave me any kind of trouble. Because this is actually a legitimately hard enemy. I mean, it's not hard on this mode, but I'm sure on Intense it would be a force to be reckoned with. And, um. Basically, he's just like three mushrooms worth of big, so he's really hard to kill and really easy to kill you. Of course he gets stunned and he's so big he can't really do very much and of course that was a good thing while it lasted. Hey, I noticed something that I don't think very many people else do, or at least not very many people I look at who play the game do. Or I guess people who I watch play the game, not people who I look at who also happen to play the game. Is use the, um, when I'm in there I use the dodge C button for me, I think it's L and R for you to learn to use the GameCube controllers. But, but yeah, I dodge in midair to pick up items in midair, and it works pretty well for me. I don't like having the, all the uh, lag frames of. I forget what they're actually called, but you know what I mean. The things where you have, um, like, you drop from the out of using an attack and you are lagging for a second or so. Yeah, I'm not good at um, not dying every time I have any of those, so I tend to dodge. I actually began when in, uh, what was it, uh, I think Target Smash 3, there's some part where to get the fastest time you have to like grab a bomb in midair and you can't attack because you were just shot off one of those things. and. I learned to do that, and anyway, this is a pretty fun punching bag. I could kill him at any time, but I'm totally good enough with Fox to know how to kill people. But this is how you kill people, right? I like how it doesn't kill you after the thing ends in this, although I don't know if it's just a timing thing or if it really doesn't do it. Oh, uh, they're going back to the Mr. King and watch the spawn because that was ever evidenced in the cutscene and made any sense and I don't know, it seems like anti Mr. Game and watch racism to me. I don't know, I'm just saying. Ha 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 ha, it's just like what happened with Starfox.